Imagine it's the year 2030 and the music industry has experienced a profound transformation with the widespread integration of AI technology. At first, it all seemed like a boon, promising to revolutionize the creation and distribution of music. However, as time passed, the true implications of AI's role in the music industry became clear. Meet Jamie, a talented singer-songwriter who once dreamed of making it big in the music world. With the rise of AI-generated music, Jamie's journey took an unexpected turn. Record labels began prioritizing AI-generated tracks over those created by human artists. These AI compositions were efficient, cost-effective, and tailored to fit the latest trends with uncanny precision. Despite Jamie's passion and skill, she found herself struggling to compete with the algorithmically crafted hits flooding the airwaves. Her heartfelt lyrics and soulful melodies were overshadowed by catchy hooks churned out by AI. Frustrated and disillusioned, Jamie watched as venues replaced live performances with holographic projections of AI-generated bands. Audiences, lured by the novelty and consistency of AI music, gradually lost interest in supporting local acts like Jamie. Thankfully, Jamie's not a real person and this story was totally made up. But this scenario does pose some interesting questions. As fans and or creators of music, we must ask ourselves, what exactly are the types of AI that are negatively impacting musicians? And also, what does the proliferation of AI mean for musicians' earnings potential longer term? In this video, we'll answer both questions and discuss how AI is forever changing the face of music. It's estimated that 60% of musicians are leveraging AI to aid their creative process. It's also been estimated that there are over 100 million songs that have been generated by AI on streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and Amazon Music. So to further understand this phenomenon, let's start by looking at the various types of AI that threaten the livelihoods of musicians. In music, there's AI that exists which could replicate the voice of an artist. And there's also AI that exists which could create instrumentals or beats from scratch. The names of some voice cloning AI software are Voiceware, Speechify, Murph, Eleven Labs and Resemble. And on the music production side we have Ava, Lambda, SoundRaw, Soundful and Loudly. Now all of this can both positively and negatively impact musicians on so many levels. If AI is used to clone the voice of an artist and then a song is made and then released without the permission of said artist, this could present a number of issues. Firstly, the artist in question will not be recompensed fairly for their intellectual property, the intellectual property being their voice. Granted, they may not have written or actually sung the song, but their voice, which is perhaps the most recognized element by fans is being used for the benefits of somebody else without the artist's permission. Secondly, this situation could also cause reputational damage. Let's imagine that an unlicensed rogue AI version of Dua Lipa makes a song and it's named Where Are My Ninjas and Hoes? Now, if this song is passed off as an authentic Dua Lipa release, this could be problematic for the public image of the London native. Now, looking at things from the perspective of a producer, AI could also be worrying. If production and the creation of music is outsourced almost entirely to AI, then what will that mean for an artist's bottom line? Well, ultimately, this would mean that musicians and artists of today will generate less revenues from their music as AI music becomes a direct competitor to traditional music. At present, AI can't entirely do the jobs of writers, artists, and producers. With that being said, the reliance on humans to create music is reducing. We've already seen examples of AI clones going viral. Remember the AI-generated song Heart On My Sleeve by Drake and The Weeknd? Now I must admit, the song was a banger and it had a little bit of commercial success. And to some extent, it illustrates how AI-generated music will become the new normal. Now with the proliferation of music created by AI, the main beneficiaries will be those who control AI artists in bulk. Think of it this way, if you have a number of AI artists who make AI-generated music and you can pump out records in high volumes annually, you'll be best placed to monetize this AI. This is exactly where record labels come into play. Record labels are going about adapting to AI in a number of ways, primarily though, by using two methods. The first of which is cloning the voices of current roster acts, 
This is to increase output and test current market trends with more frequency. For example, if you have Drake signed to your label, you might clone his voice and then release music with this clone voice because AI can work at a faster speed than any human could. This means you can release more music more frequently. The second method is creating an entirely new AI persona. This is an act imagined by the label with the voice created by the label. This being is not a real human, more rather a bot that makes music. To be clear, this AI being will still have to cultivate its own following and connect to fans. This, by the way, is possible. Just look at the AI influencer model, Aitina Lopez. Record labels make money when music is streamed, downloaded, played in public settings, and when physical records sell. Now, considering this, if a record label can increase the amount of music released on an annual basis by leveraging AI, what do you think they'll do? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Whilst you're there, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, it's important to note here that a record label can't just clone an artist's voice and use it without the artist's permission. In fact, the artist will have to sign the rights to clone and use their voice over to the label as part of a separate agreement. Assuming labels do manage to convince roster acts to sign said agreement, this could be a real goldmine for labels. So is it really all that bad? To be honest, no. The reality is that technology has always been pushing the boundaries with music. Whether it's with the synthesizer, drum machine, sampler, or your favorite DAW, with every step towards further digitalization comes critique. What is true though, is that music has always leveraged technology to give us what we desire. So this development in AI is something that we're going to have to adapt to, whether we like it or not. So in the end, who's going to benefit from all of this AI? A number of parties will. Musicians will benefit in the near future as AI will make the creation process smoother. As time progresses though, it could result in some of them being made obsolete. Fans will also benefit from the increased output of music available to consume. While some may argue that there's too much music available at present, the reality is that our attention spans have shortened and our appetite for something new is nearing insatiable. Because of this, we'll continue to desire and consume new music. Streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music and Amazon Music will also benefit because AI-generated music will continue to bolster their libraries and in turn keep folks on their platforms. Plus, from their perspective, it's always easier to justify a monthly spend on a library filled with more content. And this is why these platforms are always boasting about having a certain number of hours of content or music on their platforms. Lastly, record labels will also benefit from AI because it will allow them to leverage technology to improve the music making process, thus giving them the ability to release more music annually. In any case, please let me know what you think about AI in music down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, then please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.